Yeah, I'm the fourth generation funeral home director. I try to run a respectable business. I'm standing outside, grabbing a smoke. The guy comes up to me. He's a he's a hitchhiker. The guy says, man, you got something to eat, anything, man. I'm, I'm just so tired. I need some place to, just to relax. So I told him, sure, um, I got a little bit of lunch left in there. And uh, I hate to ask you this, but there, there's a coffin back there. You can lay down and get some rest. So the guy says, he says, cool. He gets in the casket. And so... The night's going well, but then I remember the gas man. They've been trying to cut the gas off for three months. So I got this new kid starting. He comes in. I tell the kid, I said, don't trust anybody. I said, I don't care who comes in here. Don't trust anybody. They're trying to cut off the gas. And, you know, we need that furnace because we, we got to have our furnace. We're out of business. The kid said, fine. So I go home. I come back the next day. I'm expecting to see the hitchhiker gone. But I, I noticed the casket was missing. So this kid was on the night shift. He's like, yeah, I'm, I'm getting ready to go home. I said, well, wait, whoa. I said, there was a hitchhiker here last night. He said, a hitchhiker? I said, yeah, there was a hitchhiker here last night. And he was sleeping in a casket over there. He said, that casket over there? I said, yeah, he was sleeping in that casket over there. So the kid says, well, I burned him up. I said, you burned him up? I said, that cat wasn't dead. He said, he tried to tell me that. But you know how people go through anything to keep from paying for a funeral. 